everyone. We're gonna start um, on the floor and do some leg stretches and back stretches. And then just we'll just go into a gentle meditation after that. So I want you to get as comfortable as possible. And sometimes when we're trying to go into Paschimottanasana, you don't have enough space to sit properly. So you can't really straighten the spine. So I'm just gonna try to give you a few pointers here so that you can get a into deeper stretch in the back of the legs. So if you just sit down comfortably, flat on the floor, I'm just gonna lean forwards. Just want you to get the feet parallel and flat on the floor and just lean over your legs as you're leaning here. Just feel the body rest over your legs here. Take a deep breath and then relax back down. Check to see that you're on your seat bones. So you're just gonna keep moving them up and down and find the bones themselves. Then start the breath on the back of the spine here. And exhale, starting from the lower stomach to squeeze and we deflate the body down. And again, breathe in. And breathing out. So just feel the upper legs. You can even bend them <coughs> a little bit more if you need to. So you're always breathing in. You feel the stimulation through the belly, in, uh, through the leg into the belly. So you can push and squeeze a bit more as you hug your legs. Breathe in. And breathe out. When you close the legs a little bit closer, if you cannot do it, that doesn't matter, keep them wide. And then you just feel that squeezing into the belly. So what you do, you feel the separation in the spine when you're breathing in. So when you breathe, if you don't have space to push the chest, you end up pushing on your back a little bit more. So do this again, breathe in. And breathe out. Again, like a wave, you're coming up to the spine. And again, start inhalation and you hold a moment and then exhale and hold a little moment. Okay, so you may be two seconds on each side holding. Now keep practicing this and just notice how you slow everything right down when you take your moment after the inhalation, you hold, you're absorbing the oxygen. And after the finishing the exhalation, you're exhaling everything out, there's a little silence there as well. So in those little moments, you really get the best out of your breath in the uh, inhalation and also at the exhalation. So your body is ready for the fresh air. So there's a lot more coming in. So, and then you notice the feeling about everything relaxing, you're becoming more mindful. One more time doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to get you to, to help you because you know I'm super flexible on this way. So if you've been following me, so you can get your bum on the blocks or you can get them on the cushions. Then what you try to do, again, keeping your knees bent, you can hug the leg and just avoid the belly to fold your down and you're gonna relax your head. This may not be happening for you, then in which case you can bring a block on a cushion, whatever you want, like this, or your head. So you can find this extension. So even you can cushion your under your knees, so that you can hold longer, and then you can cushion over the knees. So in this position, do you see how comfortable that looks? 
and you got some more space so your back shouldn't be hurting you're gonna pull the vertex back like this and try to stay as close to the legs as possible just to be comfortable for me to talk as well I lift my head up time to time you won't be needing to lift your head okay so try to flex your feet towards you grab your feet and relax your head down so when we are here we are closed up you got all the lights kind of cut out so you can actually relax your facial muscles for, uh, as well so I want you to just not try to lock the knees just try to keep them bent because most of us don't have that much flexibility just try to pull your hips back and focus on that spinal grasp you've been practicing and let's do it again so breathing in and breathing out Inhale, feel the spine elevate. And exhale, we relax down. Inhale. And exhale. If you can grab the soles of your feet, you reach your fingers, you're really stimulating the feet as well. You can give yourself a rock. Or just squeeze the, the ball of the foot and the toes. Try to drop the elbows towards the floor, relax your neck and your shoulder. One more deep breath here. I want you to just uh, relax and deepen your stretch. See whether you can stay there now. Just for not focusing on the breath anymore. See how far you can push your body. to it we roll the spine up it's gonna feel quite a bit tension there if you lean back and open your legs and just rock them gently side to side it's hard if you're not used to sitting like this you'll feel all pins and needles down the legs you might feel pins and needles on all the shoulders just move your spine relax your body opening the uh, hips other way around that can give you a little bit more relaxation uh, and you can't to balance good hopefully now your breathing is quite good and you're a bit more relaxed we can go to one legged forward form next the bases are the same for this one okay so you're still doing the same kind of set setup with the uh, cushions and say same kind of setup with the hip bones and the foot then you bend one knee instead of the other thigh, you're getting it all the way up and then you're going to come forward towards this leg and grab the foot and pull the body down. If this is not happening, you can still sit in the cushion. I don't need to. You can use your uh, straps to pull and you could be doing this. And then you're going to try to pull, 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 pull as you go along. Okay? And uh, or you're maybe halfway there, then you can put the glove on there, keep pulling with the strap or you can just get the cushion and just keep pulling but just relaxing the shoulders and the arms like this okay so that's your options with the equipment if you have towels you can use towels okay you don't need a strap and then you're gonna try to relax shoulder right now here I can grab ball of my foot I can manipulate the little toe using my thumb fingers to stretch and squeeze and release and just settle in you want to feel the back of the leg open space 
We want to feel our shoulders and neck open space and our spine open space. Here's the breath, deep. Just try to breath, practice that um, retention on the upper inhalation and exhalation. So keep going, final breath. Squeezing the lower part of the belly. One more deep breath here. Then we're gonna stay on the same side with the arm. Then we can try to get the other arm up from the side back. This is gonna be hard for some of us. What you could be doing is getting the block or cushion and then leaning onto that one to do the side bend, okay? You can open the legs a little bit wider out if you want like me or you don't have to. If you want extra stretch in the neck, maybe you can just bring the head back this way. So I'm gonna stay like this. You choose your way, you can relax your head, arms down, you can get the elbow to the floor. So I'm gonna start on my leg first and look over towards my elbow and just feel the side of my body open up. So when your back is stiff, it's not just the back muscles itself, this might be the to do with the sides, the obliques also, that affects the back tension. So if you open up here, you might feel really loose. And again, this is on the legs. This leg and a foot. So it's the same principles apply here. We need to learn to extend, stretch, lengthen through our breath. And if you're starting to feel really, really tight and you don't want to do anymore, you can gently come up and reach for the other side. But at the moment, I'm okay, so I'm going to stay here and just maintain this position. When we're holding the stretches longer, you come across a lot of resistance through mental uh, also. So you just have to relax your mind and notice what kind of emotions you start having. Because we have million thoughts that come and go, and we need to silence the mind. That's the idea about the meditation. If the breathing doesn't help at all, you just have to find other ways to distract your mind. Mm -hmm. So one of the ways that I quite like is to think about the muscles I'm using. What is this here? What kind mm -hmm. of feelings as I sit here? I'm just questioning it. Do I feel my mm -hmm. hip lift up? Is it on the floor? Can I push further? Am I breathing? So if, if you constantly start asking questions to yourself, then you're only busy thinking about the answers and which is to do with your body and your position. And everything else can just stop because you're focusing on the task at hand and you just don't think about it. This way, you're just tricking your mind into focusing mentally. And in time, you'll be doing it straight away. As soon as you sit down, you'll be like in the present. But until that moment comes, we just have to find a way to train ourselves. Breathing is for once. As soon as I started breathing, and my mind was into it. So I was also thinking about where I must push, where I'm feeling tense, can I relax more? Why am I feeling tense? 
Is it because I have stress at work, whatever? You begin to think about this kind of connection and try to relax. One more breath here. Then I'm going to lower this hand down and gently, gently, gently move myself the other way. So I'm kind of turning and then this cushion is happening to be there. I just I'm going to relax more. Just to counterbalance the pose because I've been there a long time. As soon as you go the other way, you're going to feel relax. And then you might feel the sense of well-being here because you're feeling all the fresh blood coming and rushing towards the side and you've been stretching. And you're feeling the release through the mind because you've been holding there a long time and you've been resisting certain things. Maybe you can let go now. Whatever emotion you're feeling, you let them come and you let them go because nothing is permanent. Your breath comes in and has to go out. You can't keep holding on to the breath like everything in life. Stay, follow the night, night, follow the day. This is how it has to be. Now gently come up. Let's see how you're feeling now. You can again bring the legs forwards. Have a little stretch here. Look down, relax your neck. And then coming back the other side. Again, you can cushion your bum. Remember, you can even put a cushion under your leg. That can be easier also. So you can find a position to sit, get yourself comfortable. You might want to blow a strap and a cushion over the leg. See how you're feeling. Under the leg is a good, a good option so you don't get too hot with the cushion. So you've got more breathing space. So you can let them look towards your foot and then you can pull, pull, pull and relax. Where you can all don't tense your shoulders here. So you're just going to come down and relax down. And relax everything on the floor. I'm grabbing my foot. I start massaging it. It makes me feel good. <sighs> and I start relaxing everything. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I have get lots of lower back tension because of my injury. So I just have to relax and let go the pain. Sometimes, because you had some certain type of pain so long, you just expect it to be there. So you tense up your body, almost encouraging the pain. So you need to let go of the pain. The pain, idea of the pain, it shouldn't exist in your head. And stop thinking why you can't go so much, why your legs are tight. Why your neck is tired? Why are you feeling tired? Why do you have pain? Stop thinking the negative thoughts. Now start thinking, how can I open more space? Where do I need to feel the stretch? How can I relax my mind? Why am I thinking so much? So replace the questions with the right ones. So there will be still questions, but at least now you're still seeking something positive to try to make the change. When that happens, your mood changes. When the mood changes, <coughs> your body relaxes without even realizing you're holding on to so much tension, so much stress. So try to let go. Allow your body to arrive in the place. Now I'm pulling the foot directly towards my hip, right? Then I'm keeping my hip and the knee and the heel all in line. I'm trying to relax my shoulders and hug my leg. Then I can breathe into my spine.
one more deep spinal breath here. Now I'm going to just slowly come up. You can stay stand, uh, seated position if, a little longer if you need a break. I'm going straight into my side stretch. So when I'm in the side here, I'm going to relax. You can cushion your arm. You don't have to be here. Remember, you can be here. You can just one arm like this. Just see where you want to take this and just hold. I kind of want it between my neck as well, so I'm holding here. My hip stays down on the ground. I want connection through the hips. You might be sitting on the cushions. It's not a problem. And then you look towards the elbow. And you're going to try to relax again. As on the other side, we were talking about how we can't always get into the zone. And how sometimes the zone looks too far away from us. We want to just take our mind into the position we are at. Where are you sitting right now? Are you sitting comfortably? Did you set this pose up properly? Can you help yourself so that you don't feel like you need to stop straight away? To make it comfortable, find a soft spot and you are willing to sit there. And then you relax the shoulders. Feel the gravity pull you down. So instead of being dragged by the gravity, you feel you're being supported by the gravity. So imagine all the tension draining out through your body into the ground. Shoulders are relaxing. You're taking your time, letting the day wash away. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Now start feeling this positivity radiating from your body now. Just realizing how much clutter your brain was holding and you got rid of it. You sorted it out. And now only the good feelings stay. Only the happiness stay. Only the positive image stay. Just now start telling yourself how great you're doing. Remember, just even wanting to practice is an achievement, even if you didn't make it to the class. Because you want to do it, you're trying your best, each day is getting closer and better. Even if you're hitting some kind of obstacles in the way, the pain barrier, your mental resistance, remember they will also subside and then you will go through it and arrive on the other side where you feel you're starting to feel the benefits. So the fruit and not the stem. What benefits do I get from sitting on the floor and breathing? How can I open more space in my spine? Why does my sides feel so tight? Why didn't I think of doing this before? What is so tight? Doesn't matter because you're doing it now. That's the next best and tomorrow you're going to get tougher. Breathe. Every time you come across a hardship, you breathe through it and you coach yourself through it. And you know you're doing amazing here. Well done. gently bring the arm forward on the ground and the other arm bring the neck and I'm going to just go on the other side ever so slowly because I don't want to move fast and I'm just going to lie this way just adjust myself into rebound as soon as I recline this way my body felt such a relief
just see, feel what kind of feelings it makes you feel after you've done all this hard work. gently come back up with that normal purse but you don't have to come up if you feel like you must stay as you were just stay there the rest of the remaining time with that little wide-legged forward fold next so after everything you've done i feel looser on my back but just make sure you everything's in the right place you can lean back to kind of relax your shoulders and maybe stay in the rebound a little bit longer before you come to forward fold because it's not just the legs that needs to work here, it's the back also. So make sure there's no soreness there. And again, you can have cushions. You can have cushions under each knee. Yes, most of us can't do a straight leg. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Because I'm folding a long time. I'm talking. I'm going to put my blocks here so I have a space where I can be talking to you from. So this is it. I made it nice and comfortable for myself. It's so soft and yummy, so I can really stay here a long time now. So just make yourself comfortable. You've done a lot. Just getting the ground, the forehead on the floor is fantastic. If you can get blocks or cushions to do that, make sure you've got breathing space underneath you so you're not smothering yourself. Then turn the palms up if you can. And here we are. As you rotate the forearms up, you feel different parts of the shoulder. Arise by sighing, allowing more tension to release. Totally passive now, up the air, even mind and body. You feel like you're totally surrendering to the body. Inhale deep. Exhale deep. Every exhalation, you're letting go of one thing that you don't need. Just think about the list of things you hold that you don't actually need to keep. Like the clothes you never wear. Just visualize you're giving them away to charity. Opening space in your wardrobe. How does it make you feel? You've got more space. Then you can actually see which clothes you've got. Then you can remember to wear them. If it's jam-packed with all the stuff, no matter how good they are, you end up wearing the same clothes over and over and you never even think about wearing something else. So if you have more space, you can move your clothes around, look at them, and think what to wear, and you can change and recirculate your clothes. It's the same with your head. If you have all the things that you think that you need in your head, all at once going at speed of light, then what happens? You don't know what to do first and when to do it you don't have a routine then you end up doing nothing so you just have so much to do so that you don't want to do anything in the end so you need to get rid of the thoughts and to the mind so that you have space to maneuver clearly think about what to do one thing at a time one day at a time one step at a time so you don't get overwhelmed with the things that you need to do and you have no enough time you can make time if you are able to open space you will be surprised when your mind is really rational 
and it regulates everything that has to happen and finds the right order to do them in, then you can fit in so much in a venue. So, slowing down, tapping the thoughts, and recalibrating our brain. And we can start a practice. I need to finish now, I just realized the time has passed, but we arrive in a place now, hopefully a bit more organized in our mind, a little bit more space in our body. So just move your hands, your fingers, your toes, and gently come up. Bend one knee in. Bend the other knee in. In a way that you like to sit, I'm just gonna sit here. Just sit and notice the things you might be feeling. And if you want to stay longer in your meditation, this is not perfect time to lie down and meditate or sit and meditate. Otherwise, just get your hands together, touch your face, touch your chin, touch your chest. Namaste, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. See you again. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.